Hi, my name is Paola, and today I will be showing you how to play La Vie en Rose on ukulele. Now, today we are going to be using G major, G major 7, E minor, C6, D major, D7, C major, and D6. And it sounds like a lot, but bear with. So each one of those should sound a little like this. G major, G major 7, E minor, C6, D major, D7, C, and D6. And those are the chords that we're going to be using for this song. So now the first line of the song is just the notes at the top here. So it's going to be G major, G major 7, E minor, C6, and D major. And those are the only ones we're going to worry about right now. And it's going to be actually in that exact progression. So a progression is the way a note is arranged in a song. So G major is the first note of the progression. So it just keeps going. So how we're going to play this is a strumming pattern of down, down, up, down, up. So it's going to be G major, G major 7, E minor, C6, D major. I know what you're thinking, I totally changed the pattern at the end, but we'll get there. So the first ones we're going to do are G major, so it's going to go down, down, up, up, down, G major 6, the G major 7, E minor, and here's where the strumming pattern changes. So we're going to do C6 in only two down strokes. And then we're going to do D major in two down strokes. So the first line of the song goes, hold me close and hold me fast, this magic spell you cast, this is la vie en rose. Okay, so the second line of the song should just about go D major, D7, D major, G, I think D major, back to G, C6, so we'll get to that part later. So it's back to the regular strumming pattern, and we're going to start the second line with D major. So it's going to go... and then D7, and then back to D major, and then we're going to go, which is the tricky part, two downstrokes on G major, one downstroke on D major, and then one downstroke on C6. So that part should just about go C major, D major, C6. So the whole strand should just about go with the words, when you kiss me heaven sighs, and though I close my eyes, I see the feet on rose. And that's the second line to the song. Okay, so the third line of the song should be just about the first line, except for the last note. So it's going to go G major, G major 7, E minor, but instead of using C6, we're going to use C major. So it's back to the regular strumming pattern, so it should go G major, G major 7, E minor, 
going to do one downstroke for C major. So the words should match up just like this. When you press me to your heart, I'm in a world apart, a world where roses bloom. And that'll conclude the third line of the song. And now we're on to the fourth. Okay, so this is the fourth line of the song. Now the strumming pattern completely changes and it's nothing like you heard before. But don't worry, it's super easy. So the notes that we're gonna use are C6, uh, G major, C6, and then D6. So the strumming pattern is gonna get super easy because it's gonna be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one, and that's it. So C6 is gonna go one, two, three, G major, one, two, three, C6 again, one, and then D6, one. So it should match up to the words like, and when you speak, angels sing from above. Everyday words seem to turn into love songs. This is the last line to the song. And the ones that we're going to use are G major, G major 7, C major, C6, D major, and then G major. Sounds like a lot, but we can totally do this. So, we're gonna go back to the regular strumming pattern, C major. And then G major seven. C major one. So we're just gonna go down once. And then once for C6 once for D major, and then once for G major. So the whole thing should string together with the words like this. Give your heart and soul to me, and life will always be the V on rose. me to your heart. 